guys welcome back uh, i haven't made any videos recently because there was not much to talk about uh, uh, on this situation with ryzen and bios uh, bios problems uh, but right now i uh, i tried a new bios better bios and uh, it's actually working flawless uh, i love it uh, uh, so let me show you how I did it and uh, I will post a link below to the to the latest uh, BIOS. I will show you what I did and what you can do too to yeah, take uh, the maximal out of your memory and the TPU of course. So as you can see right now I'm running uh, at uh, 385. Yeah, let me focus that screen. Uh, my memory is running at uh, 2933. Let me show you which memory I have. That's uh, yeah, that's the TM key 60 gx 4 m 2 b 3000 t 50 So I'm running at uh, its maximal speed. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna post uh, down in the description uh, link to the BIOS. The, it's gonna be this BIOS 164. When you download the file, it will be in a zip file. So just for the for the guys that that are not familiar with this stuff, I'm just gonna explain a little bit how you how you do that. Uh, so when you download the file from the link in the description below, you will have to unzip it. It's simple, you know, like just uh, two times clicking on it and uh, unzipping the the file. Uh, the file has to be in the in the following uh, extension like 164, 162, 161. That's actually the number of uh, uh, BIOS version. So just so you know that, keep that in mind. When you download the file, you have to unzip it. Don't put the zip file on uh, on on your USB stick. So yeah, once you have the file, you have to of course put it into uh, yeah, for example, a USB stick. Uh, USB stick it's in English I think <laughs> so yeah once you get that uh, you have to put it in the root folder the, so the main folder of uh, of your uh, of your um, USB okay let's uh, let's uh, get back to to BIOS and let me show you how I did it hey so we are in the BIOS right now as you can see I'm running 3852933 so it's very important uh, let me see what version of the BIOS is as you can see I'm running 164 it's gonna be different for you right now when you are inside the BIOS. Uh, keep the USB USB stick inside your USB port of your PC. When you boot into into BIOS with uh, with the Dell key, uh, what you have to what you have to do first is uh, press the F6 button. Eh? F6 button. You have to reset your current BIOS to to its default values. Okay. Once you have done that, you press F10 on your keyboard. It will like this first f6 and it will ask you do you want to load the defaults you will do yes i'm not going to do it again because i already set set mine up uh, once you have done that uh, you will press f10 it will ask you do you want to save those changes and reset your pc yes you will do yes once you do that uh, your bios will be back at its default stage everything will be uh, from the stock uh, after you've done that you're gonna Keep pressing the Dell button to to get into BIOS back again. Okay. Once you are back in the BIOS, you're gonna do the following. You're gonna go to the M flash. Okay. Okay. Let's do that one one time. Yeah. As you can see now, it's uh, BIOS is booting into its uh, special uh, special mode of uh, M flash, which means you can uh, you can flash your BIOS. Wait, let me focus like this yeah and it will automatically detect uh, the USB stick uh, that you inserted into your PC on the right side you will see a list of, uh, of all the files you have uh, you can use a mouse as well or your keyboard keyboard keys uh, as you can see I already have here 164 you will have that as well if you follow the my instruction I'm already running 164, so I'm not gonna do this uh, uh, do this update again. But I wanna tell you something. When you do this, uh, yes, uh, update the firmware. Okay, it will maybe take a three to four minutes uh, to update. Once it's updated, you will go back to BIOS with the Dell key. All right, when you are back in the BIOS, you will press 
F6 uh, button again to load the defaults of this new BIOS. After that, you will press F10, okay, to save those settings and reboot the PC. All right. When the PC starts rebooting again, you will press F10 again, okay? You will press F10 again, and you will go back to to M Flash. Uh, once you are in, back in BIOS, you will uh, see the same button M Flash to flash again, okay? So we are gonna flash 164 again, just like we did uh, one minute ago, all right? Uh, you will come back to this same screen, and you will select the 164 BIOS again, and you will flash it, okay? When you flash it, your PC will reboot, alright? So, after it reboots, you will go back to BIOS. You will go back to BIOS, F6, F6 again, F10 to save those uh, default values, and then we will go back to BIOS to set up everything. Okay, let me show you how I set my up. Alright guys, so, when we are back in the BIOS, you did everything what I told you to do before. Your values will be default 3000 and uh, 2033, if I remember correctly. I already have set my up. So the first thing I did is, I tried to, to, to avoid all this tinkering with, uh, with memory manually, because uh, I just wanted to, to start fresh, all right? So the first thing I did was, I used this button, all right? It was off. You will click it on number one or number two. Listen, if you have same memory as me, you can do this precisely as I did. If you have different memory, you can you can do the same thing as well, but it might not work the same way. So I, I cannot promise you this, all right? I'm just saying this for the memory type I use, because this memory that I had was truly bullshit and it was, uh, it was really difficult to get working and... Uh, uh, there, there are many people that have same memory as me and they, they were all stuck with, uh, with low uh, RAM speeds. So for those people, go ahead and uh, instead of using the one, one will give you around two, yeah, 2800 megahertz and uh, two will give you 2933. This is the maximal uh, what your memory can take, all right? Just use it, don't worry about advanced DRAM configuration, it's already set up correctly. Uh, if I yeah, it will be 50, 70, 70, 35. So once you've done that and you and you desire to have the same uh, CPU speed as I have, 385, uh, you will go back to you will go to the CPU ratio. Uh, so things have changed a little bit uh, with this new BIOS. Instead of you typing in uh, the megahertz number, you have to type in the CPU ratio. So. It, Actually, it's kind of the same. As you, as you see, I have here 38.50, uh, 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 and that will give me exactly 3,850 3, MHz. Uh, the thing you have to change is uh, CPU core voltage to 12875, as you can see right here, 1.2875. Just for the for the for the joke, I did not want to change anything about uh, about the SOC voltage uh, and DRAM voltage because I was thinking, all right, man, I'm I'm just gonna try this uh, AXMP uh, profile. I'm not gonna mess around with any voltage. I just wanna see if it will work. So at the moment, it works at uh, auto. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it at uh, at that. I'm gonna leave everything at auto, and uh, I, I I don't really care as long as it works. Oh yeah, another another thing you have to change uh, when you overclock is uh, you have to go all the way down, all right? We are in the same menu, you will go all the way down and you will go to CPU features and you will change AMD cool and quiet from uh, enabled to disabled, all right? Yeah, just use that. Uh, F10 button, save, yeah, and uh, enjoy it if you have any question please uh, leave them down and uh, i don't want to keep this video way too long because uh, i can keep talking about this all, uh, all all day what everything does but it's unnecessary all right guys good luck if you have questions leave them down below and uh, i will try to answer that uh, when i have the time thanks